All right, everybody, welcome. Uh, like to first introduce and congratulate Tyler. January 2023, Baller of the Month. Congrats, how does it feel to win the award? Feels pretty good. Um, a lot of hard work goes in at practice, so it feels good to get um, some recognition, but long overdue. Long I overdue. I was gonna ask if you had previously won uh, any Baller of the Month awards. I can't remember off the top of my head, so. No, uh, I don't believe I've seen any Grand Valley people win since I've been here, so might have to go crazy. check the might have to go check the record books on that. Uh, find out. So that that gives you your rookie All America, correct? All American last year, Baller of the Month. Now, what else is there left to accomplish for you? Take another title for one. Um, another All American is the plan. Um, see what happens. We're looking pretty good right now as a team. Um, feel pretty good as an individual. Um, Otherwise, going for that trophy, MDC. Awesome. So, yeah, I just got to attend practice with you guys. Good, hard-fought practice. Who, who's the next Tyler Peach on the team? Is there that next great Grand Valley player on this roster right now? Somebody that we haven't heard about yet. Um, there's a couple guys that stand out. Um, I think Mason is looking pretty good lately. Um, he's been known to stay in a lot longer in the points. Um, he can hold up with a lot of the veterans on other teams. Um, Jamin, good catcher. Um, and new guy Alex comes in for a couple practices and he's already throwing harder than some of the guys on the team. So there's a couple guys to look out for. Um, we'll see what happens with them for last season left. So you guys have played a lot of matches so far this year. You just had some back-to-back -back weekends. Who's in the league right now, who's who would you say is maybe the toughest person to kind of line up against? Who, who or who do you enjoy playing against the most? Maybe that that challenge. Um, I think the most fun to play against is Michigan State. Um, just the rivalry in general is fun. But uh, I don't know. I think the most underrated player in the league right now is Josh Kramer. Um, I mean, showed you last week catching is unmatched. I mean, there's nobody better in the league at catching than him. He's definitely made some highlight reel plays while I've been watching games, and, and he'll probably find himself on the top 10 plays next month. I, I think Michigan State might have already put that play out there. <laughs> but uh, who's historically, who was your toughest matchup that maybe has moved on, who's not no longer in the league, or who had the biggest influence on your gameplay? On a different team? Or, or, or your team? own, either way. I think going against on our own team in practice, um, I was most scared of... Nolan Stanko, just because he was faster than me. He threw hard, and I mean, he was all around great player. And I think he made me better. I think Alex Janowskis is always scary to go against too. I'm Ohio right now, but um, he was with me, um, taught me most of the stuff I do today. So it's pretty fun going against them too. Yeah, him and him and Caleb Arnold for, yeah. form one of the best one-two punches, especially if you're like in overtime against that team or something, and those two are left in. Like that's a that's a tall order for any team. So, um, is this your last year playing? Remind yeah. You? Okay. Um, might be somewhere at grad school, but we'll see. Uh, somebody have to get me out there if uh, if I do end up at a dodgeball school. Okay. So so grad we'll school see. grad school is in the works or, or kind of in the plan. What's yeah. what's uh, yeah, what's what's post Grand Valley looking like for Tyler Peach right now? Um, currently I'm pre med, but um, might be changing to pre PA. Um, we'll see what happens here, but uh, it's a plan. I'll end up somewhere post grad. So, cool, cool. Anything else we can give the viewers? Like uh, your expectations for the rest of the season? Things um, like that. I plan to get better. I plan to for myself. I want to keep playing the way I'm playing. Um, I'm feeling good lately. Um, I want the team to succeed as well. MDC is coming up real quick, so um, looking to take back that trophy. Um, past two games against M MSU has been a little rough, but I mean, we're tweaking stuff at practice. We're looking a lot better. Last game against them was really good, so um, I'm excited to see what happens. I did think of one other thing. So after we saw the highlight plays, what, what probably got you a lot of this award was a standout individual performance against mm -hmm. Cincinnati. I'm sure you guys would have liked to have come away with that, with a W. Um, but I had somebody describe you as taking on the persona of a WWE heel, heel wrestler, a bad guy to, like, induce those throws, make those catches. Like, what, what came over you in that moment? Uh, I don't know. I, like, I just like having fun out there the whole time. Um, a lot of guys 
we'll see that I start laughing mid game, mid throw at me. And sometimes I black out. I don't, I don't even remember clapping at those guys, to be honest. But uh, Cincinnati loves to give me a highlight reel. So it's, All right. fun. it's fun. All right. Well, hey, listen, appreciate your time. Appreciate it. Let me come to practice. Good luck out there. We'll see you in a week at MDC. I appreciate it. All right.